I'm in my new house. What's up guys? Um, I am back for a vlog. It's been a long time since I have vlogged. I think actually the last time I vlogged was when we found out we were getting this house, possibly. I don't really know if I've vlogged since then. My memory is shot, but it is currently the afternoon on Sunday. I don't really know why I'm vlogging right now. I've just been watching vlogs and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to vlog. I actually wanted to vlog our move, but that was so stressful. I was like, I'm never doing that to myself. And if you do do that to yourself, props to you. Um, but it is the day after our move and we've actually gotten a lot of stuff done. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start vlogging while I decorate and like show you guys around because the house is still empty. So I feel like this will be fun footage. We're going to hang up some decor tonight and stuff like that. I actually just unpacked pretty much everything in my office, which is really nice. Our living room and kitchen are pretty much packed. Our downstairs is pretty much all packed. Um, our basement, we're just keeping as like junk right now because we don't want to try and fill it because we have so much stuff as it is that we don't want to try and fill the basement one day it would be like a nice playroom or something like that but for now we're just putting stuff we don't really want there um but yeah we got we have a lot of i have a lot of clothes to do so i gotta do that but i think we're gonna do that tomorrow because i'm just finishing everything else and then we're doing clothes at the end because i obviously have like clothes i put to the side but i'm gonna get ready and then I'll be back. I just changed and like brushed my hair, but I don't really think I am going to be wearing makeup today. Maybe tomorrow, because I I do have to go to work tomorrow. Um, if not Tuesday. But Ollie got groomed on Friday, so he's looking handsomer than ever. It is so hot in this house i'm not gonna lie we have to get all new windows that's like one of the things we factored in when we were moving in that we knew we'd have to do so it's like fine but it does mean it's really hot right now because it's august in the dmv which is like the hottest time of oh i have my those are ollie's wipes because he has an allergy he has not raw paws but like close to it and so we have to wipe his paws um this is my watch um i don't even know what i was saying but basically the windows aren't very energy efficient right now so it's just really freaking hot we are getting custom windows because i mean i don't know if all windows are custom but ours is we have a shit ton of windows in our house so um they have to be built so hopefully in october they'll be here because they're custom they have to be made and built and everything so yeah but i am going to show you guys the study progress I made. I mean, you guys didn't really see it before, but also with the study, I put a lot of decorations in it because I do so much telehealth. I want it to be like a fun environment and I'm in there a lot and stuff. So I'll show you guys that and then I'll show you guys like the other progress we've made. But obviously we've just moved in. So bear with us. Hopefully as this vlog goes on, it gets cleaner and cleaner and more organized. That is the goal. But yeah, I also feel like I look so gross, but I don't really know where my makeup is and don't really feel like doing it to be honest but yeah it's so crazy being in a house like I was like Jake is by the way at the apartment doing some stuff right now and I was like I th didn't know if he had left or not and I, I had to call him because I was like calling his name and he couldn't hear me and then he was like yeah I'm in the kitchen I was like that's literally right under me and I can't even hear you like it's just so much space and a lot of room and just two of us plus Oliver, so yeah. <laughs> so this is how my office is coming around um, or along. I have my desk here with my sticker stuff there and my laptop. I'm gonna put all my decor on this wall. But yeah, I have a lot of space. We were gonna put something else in here and then it didn't fit our old TV stand. So it's kind of just like random crap, but eventually we want to get like a sleeper sofa and stuff. And then this I just put in here, it was in our master bedroom before, but our closets in like every room of this house are ginormous. I put these old shoe shelves down in here. They used to be in our foyer in our old place um, so that we had like a tabletop because our hallway was really thick thin so we had a tabletop and a way to store shoes but now we have like a whole other thing going on down there and we tried to fit these in but it just didn't look right and I was like get them out they're clutter so Jake moved them 
upstairs and then I just moved them into the closet while he's been gone. Um, but yeah, just like so much freaking space. I'm obsessed. Um, but yeah, we are getting new windows. So that's why we have paper blinds right now because we're not going to pay for nice blinds if we're getting new windows. Um, Jake's going to kill me because <laughs> <laughs> I just put all my boxes there for him to take out. This is his room, which has half my stuff in it, honestly, because, uh, <laughs> I have too much stuff, but I'm going to take these clothes down. These are Ollie's clothes slash his collars and go and organize that. And I'll show you guys the living room. Ollie, you want to go downstairs? Here are his, Ollie's clothes and stuff. I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put his clothes in a different basket and just put his extra collars and leashes in this basket I have here, which also has his party hats. <laughs> he has a plethora. And then I just got him this collar um, for the football season. His tags are coming in. But yeah. Is this your stuff? So I'm just going to unload some of that in there. And then I'm going to get a different basket for the rest of his clothes. Just so it's not like overflowing. Okay, so we have a bunch of leashes and collars because it's literally my obsession to buy him this stuff i don't know why all the bow ties you ever need hippo collar i'll probably put his bandanas in here too i have like his his leash when we first oh his collar when we first got him that definitely does not fit him anymore but for the mams all these i have lots of bow ties he also gets um bandanas and bow ties every time he's like sniffing the basket every time he gets groomed which is why he's wearing one right now and i always save those but i don't think these would fit him anymore actually but i may keep them because i do want to get another dog in the future <laughs> So, yeah, this is my favorite bandana. This one's from Chewy. I'm going to untie this and probably wash it, actually, before football season. But I love this one. It's custom. It was really affordable. And I got him this bandana last year. I need to untie these all because I feel like that makes them all wrinkly. I got this one last year, which I could definitely make myself now. I mean, I could probably make all of these bandanas myself. But it just says his name. I need to... I'm actually going to wash these. Just because I feel like they're kind of gross. He's been wearing his bandanas a lot. Okay. Um, well, this is the one with his rabies tag. I honestly think I'm just going to put this one on him right now because it makes me anxious that he's not wearing one. I took it off for his grooming, but I'm just going to put that one on. Um, we have freaking, look at this. This is what they gave us when he was little. So he was four pounds. We have little doggles. whose harness this is. I don't think it's Oliver's. We have a bunch of harnesses. That is also important. And I think the rest is just clothes. He got this military bandana from the Naps game, which I'm not really a fan of, but it was free. Yeah, I think the rest is closed, so I'm going to go get a, oh, this is his shot collar, which I tried. It, I tried the vibrate mode slash the tone mode, but I never followed through with it because it gave me anxiety and I just didn't care enough. Okay, there's a lot of small, these small bandanas that definitely don't fit him. Is this NASA one from my mom. She works at NASA, so she gets all the NASA stuff for free. This 
leopard print one. I think that was Macy's. Oh, uh, I'm gonna wash all these actually. This one's my favorite one he owns. This was his OG one. And it's also like the best quality, it's from Etsy. I keep thinking I'm done and then I find like a shit ton more, but I'm gonna go get a um, a bin to put his clothes in and then I'm going to just wash some of these bandanas. Okay, so we did all of Ollie's stuff. He knows we were doing his stuff, so he's like very intrigued. Um, so we ended up putting, I need to clean it, but we ended up putting this white thing that we used as like a pantry in our last apartment. I don't know why I blanked on that, but literally look, he took up all these shelves. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. You're fine. Um, so I literally have this box labeled kitchen junk. Plus I have a bag of junk and I now need to sort through this because it's like important stuff that we need that was like in the middle of our kitchen for a reason but now I have to like actually go through it and no one wants to do that. Also this is our living room sneak peek. Isn't it cute? We are going to mount the TV eventually um, in like a month or so with Jake's dad but yeah. Say hi Audie. Do you like the vlog? Um, anyways, have all this stuff going to end it into here. Jake is getting me Starbucks. It was kind of bad because he was like ordering five minutes and then like 15 minutes has passed and I forgot. And I was like, shoot, I gotta go do that. And so I texted him like, sorry. He's like, oh, I've been waiting here. So I just ordered my Starbucks. <laughs> Because I do like the mobile order and then he picks it up for me. That's like what we always do. But yeah, I felt kind of bad, but he's fine. Okay, so I just cleaned off all my wax warmers. They were kind of gross because I just spill wax and then just don't clean it up. That will change in the new house. <laughs> that was apartment rental life. So I think I'm going to put this one here in this room. Just because I feel like it vibes with this white thing. And then these things are kind of gross too, but I think I'll choose the lightest one. And then for the kitchen, I feel like this one or this one is kitchen. I feel like this one's more kitchen-y. Eh, no, let's do this. Although these ones all have timers and this one doesn't. So I think I'm going to do this one in the kitchen just because I don't care if this one has a timer. But since that one's on that side, I'm gonna put this one maybe here. I have to figure it out. And then the other ones I'm gonna put in my bedroom and study. So I think I'm gonna do bedroom study. Hi hey guys, Jake came back from the apartment and bought me Starbs. It's over there, but I like almost already finished it. And we hung a few things. We literally hung four things and then we took a break and now he's gaming. He's on some like competition thing for gaming. I don't even know. He has a whole gaming life. So I just let him do him, but He's going to be out for a couple of hours, not out, but like MIA for a couple of hours. So I am going to finish unpacking this room. Um, and then I'm going to, I think get started on like my shoes. I didn't realize how many shoes I have, but I have so many shoes and like a lot of them are really nice shoes, but I do not wear them. So I think there might be some decluttering happening. There was already a bunch of decluttering happening, but I feel like there's got to be even more. But I also have like a lot of shoe racks and containers. So I'm like, it doesn't really help my case. And I feel like shoes are so small that it's like, it doesn't take up any space. Unless you're like Jake who has like expensive ass sneakers that take up a crap ton of space. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to get started on that because tomorrow we want to do our clothes because that just like seems the most miserable for some reason for us. 
probably because we don't wear most of our clothes and we can get rid of most of it um but yeah i'm so freaking tired and i have to prepare for work tomorrow because i do have to um see a client tomorrow and do a bunch of stuff and our trash is right there uh tomorrow is our trash pickup so we're gonna take out our trash tonight but yeah i'll show you guys the stuff we hung because it's like cute and exciting and then oh did i say we ordered dinner we ordered dinner from this new place that looks really good i'm excited for my food and then all the add-ons here because we live in like kind of korea town but also just like i don't know like i don't really know how to explain it but it's just very diverse but there was like every sort of bubble tea asian dessert place french dessert place available on the add-on so we got i think we just got kung fu tea because that's what jake wanted but yeah i am so freaking tired from yesterday and i'm not looking forward to going back to work tomorrow but i'm so excited to be in our new house so we hung this sawadee ka sign which is hello or welcome or goodbye or whatever the greeting in thailand and our little thing which this thing took forever to hang and then that's a painting my dad painted us my dad is a painter and then this wall we're gonna mount the tv we want to find like a really pretty painting for this wall or ask my dad to do something and then we just hung it this <laughs> right there um but also i love how this thing is coming along like that's really cute okay so i'm unpacking we have all of our masks still which we actually threw a bunch out um but i am gonna save them because i just have a feeling we're all gonna need them again and they're gonna be impossible to find and those of us who save them are gonna be proactive so yeah i got my friend this um well i got me one too but i'm gonna bring it upstairs to my study or I might, if I don't see her, I haven't seen her in a while, but if I don't see her, I might bring mine to work. Probably not though, because I barely go into my office, but this is a 12 month desktop calendar from August to July, which is like perfect because it starts now, but it's like all the, all the doodle mixes. So it's a Cavapoo, Labradoodle. I can't read it. Maybe I'll open it. Let's open it. Why not? It's just really cute. I got this at Home Goods. I got like a bunch of cute stuff at Home Goods. And now I want to go back because I have so many. Th oh, these are nice. Holy crap. Do you hear how thick that is? It's like literally a fan. Okay. So you have August, which is Cavapoo. September, which is Labradoodle. I'm going to put that at the front. And then October, which is Peekapoo. Peekapoo? Is that a Pekingese and a poo? And November, which is a schnoodle. And then we have December, which is a, a sheep -a doodle And January, which is a multi-poo. This one looks like Ollie. Like, just the drawing. And then we have February, which is a sheep -poo like a Shih Tzu poodle mix and then March which is a cockapoo and then April is a Yorkie poo and May is an Aussie doodle which is what my friend has which is why I got it for her but her mom also has like eight million sheep -a doodles so she's like a doodle person I mean if you have a doodle you're most likely a doodle person but and then june which is golden doodle that's what ollie is and then july which is bernadoodle which my really good friend actually just got a bernadoodle puppy and he's so cute um but yeah i guess i'll keep this one and give her the um clothes one if i see her which hopefully i will but yeah i just have so much crap in here like all my sunglasses i love these sunglasses 
Um, I feel like I need a container for my sunglasses down here. I have so many phone cases that I don't want to get rid of, but I feel like I should. And then I have just like empty sunglass things. I have checks. Like this is just so random. We have our camera. Wait. Why does this say it? Yeah, we still have some film left on that. We have like four more pictures. This is Jake's work badge, which I will put up here. Oh, there's so much crap. Yeah, I honestly think I'm just gonna empty this all into the top drawer and then organize it from there. Okay, that's looking good. I mean, obviously, like we just moved in so it's not perfect but this is the vibe we we do have a circle mirror i don't know if i said that that we got for our wedding that we're putting here it's at my parents house but we have the rest of our cups and stuff there because we have too many in the kitchen and we don't really use those and then these are like gifts for my parents that i have and random stuff this is all these drawers <laughs> not the best organized these are the face masks and umbrellas and then this is junk and then this is more ollie stuff and then um i want to put like a bench here eventually because i feel like that would be cute and then in here which my dad is changing these doorknobs if you're wondering to all sad nickel but um these are some of the shoes and that's ollie's clothes that i folded earlier and then we'll put some of our stuff in there but yeah, I have this, and yeah, that was pretty good progress. I'm about to eat by myself, then give Jake his food. We got this place that was recommended to us. Look at these seasoned fries. And then I got chili spaghetti, because I love spaghetti with chili, or chili with spaghetti. I think Jake got chicken parm, which came, this is the sandwich, this is bread, this is lighter, and then he got a salad. So, I'm gonna eat, Ollie's here, and yeah. Ask me how good of a wife I am. I'm holding this camera so weird. <coughs> oh my God. Take. Hi. Take. I I can't right now. Okay, I'm putting it behind you. Our bubble tea cane. Hey guys, so I just ate, and I finished doing pretty much everything down here. So. We are going to tackle the upstairs. I am going to try and organize the bathroom stuff I did bring. We actually packed up everything except for the stuff in our bathroom in our apartment because we ran out of boxes and time and just like energy. So we're going to have to go back and do that. Our apartment lease doesn't end till the end of the month. So we have plenty of time. Um, so I don't have all my bathroom stuff, but I do want to put away some of the stuff I brought that I use like every day. So I'm going to do that and then I think I'm going to try and start with my shoes so that tomorrow um, we can do the clothes. I think that will be my plan of attack. But yeah, we got our boba. Yeah? You gave me garlic bread, not my sandwich. The sandwich? There's, there's garlic bread and there's a sandwich there. Why, like, I literally walked that food up to him. Everything. The garlic bread, the sandwich, the, the salad. In my hands. You guys saw it. You guys saw it. And still, getting complaints. I'm so sweaty, though. Oh, I think we need to go to Costco and buy more fans. But, yeah. It's, like, just, like, crazy that we live here. Like, it's, like, really weird having 
like we don't really use the basement so just having like the upstairs and the downstairs is just so weird and there's just so much space like it used to be like our living room was connected to our foyer which was connected to our dining room which is connected to our kitchen which is still like the case but like there's just so much more like everything was everywhere. Jake's office was in the living room too. And like he was working in the living room all the time. So I'm like also not used to not hearing him game all the time. So it's just like an adjustment. We also got a 70 inch TV, which is just so unnecessary, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna go tackle the upstairs. And now that I ate, I feel refueled. I also have to do, um, I think I said just like a little bit of work before tomorrow. So tomorrow is Monday. But yeah, hopefully this vlog is successful. What if it's just like one day? Because like what if I forget to vlog tomorrow? But hopefully I will because I feel like we'll make a lot of progress in the house. And it'll be fun for you guys to see that all. Maybe. Also, hopefully I don't look as gross tomorrow. All right, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jake brought me back a box or stuff I needed. Squishmallow clipboard. Um, but no, this is a bunch of Cricut stuff. So I'm just putting it here. It's like vinyls because I'm occasionally crafty, right, Ollie? Occasionally, when I feel like it. Um, but yeah, I'm just emptying this last box and um, I'm gonna do my shoes, I think. Yeah, I just have so much random crap. A whole slice board I never use. These are cute, I got these custom made. And I don't use them. Um, but yeah, I have both iron-on and regular vinyl here. And I have like drawers and containers and containers of it as well. Okay. And I just have my scraps of iron-on. I have this little, little sticker of me. Oh, let's put this, this my iron on leftovers. My stylus pen that I never use. that I've never used and I'm never going to use. I think my mom gave this to me in my self-healing journey. I just don't use stuff like this. Like, rate your day, blah, 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 blah. But I will keep that there because my mom gives me so much stuff I don't use that I just have to hoard until I find someone to give it to them. Hey right, guys, I bought a shower curtain and didn't realize it didn't come with a liner because it came with hooks, it's not a liner. So I'm gonna put this on. I already put the shower curtain on. So I was dying for a shower yesterday. So I'm just gonna put this bad boy on. remodeled and their kitchen is also very blue it was blue before we bought this house but we've just been finding random blue things show up and I'm like who gave us these 
but they are nicer than what we have. <laughs> oh, but I can put this on the table maybe. This is the silver one I normally use. I'm gonna put this blue one by the sink because our kitchen is blue. Put this on the table. I'm so tired. Okay guys, so it is nine o'clock. Jake is gaming for about another hour. He just texted me. So I'm going to set up this little thing here, which this like fits perfectly here. And we actually did switch sides of the bed. So I used to sleep on that side. And that's like a really weird thing. If you've been in a relationship with someone for a while, especially, or in general to like switch sides. I also didn't want to be closer to the door, but I also don't want to be close to the window. Um, so it is what it is. And I figured I wanted this thing on my side. So, and he wanted that side. And like, we've always talked about switching sides because I sleep on my left and he sleeps on his right. So then we can like sleep together. Cause right now or in the past, we've always slept with our backs together. So, um, anyways, I want to set this thing up. I'm actually going to do like a similar setup to what I had in the apartment. This was in our dining room. Um, over there but yeah I think I'm gonna set this up and then maybe fill the drawers with some makeup or some things that I just opened a bunch of big boxes that I filled for the master bedroom because I used to have that other bookshelf in here so I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that I was like I wanted to put the bookshelf that's in the study in here but Jake thinks it will look bad and then he doesn't know where we would put our hamper. And I've been asking him to like set up his side so I can figure out what my side will look like. And um, I can't really put stuff on the dresser because we have a massive TV that's going there. So I'm just like trying to figure that out. But I can utilize some of this, which will be cute. Um, and I do really like this piece. We literally got it for free. Like on, it was just put out outside of our like on our apartment buildings like by our garbage and there's always like really good stuff there but not a lot of stuff matches our aesthetic and vibe or mine which is like very white and gray so I was like this is freaking perfect and silver so I love that um piece but yeah I couldn't find the shelf thingies and Jake went to the apartment and he found them there so I'm gonna go do that and yeah I don't know if I said but I was like posting an emotional post on Facebook that whole time I don't know why but I was just bored and I needed to like chill out a little so So we got this going. I had vases and stuff. Where did that box go? It's probably in the basement. I had vases and these really cute golden doodle statues. So I'll put those on the top. <sighs> Jake wants his rings, his like Stanley Cup ring and his WNBA ring. I don't know. He has a bunch of rings from working for those teams not he's not a player but um he wanted them here but I was like babe I don't want them on my thing so I think I'm gonna figure out what I can fit in here but this bag this box is basically all like bags and then this is like my junk from my bookshelf that used to be in our bedroom that is now in my office over out there so I'm doing the transition I have accepted fate because I do I don't want our bedroom too cluttery and that room is massive it's basically as big as this bedroom is my office so I might as well just use the space so 
got a lot of stuff going on here. I have all my ears. Ah! My saw wiping shit. But yeah. I do want to find that box though with the with the flowers and golden doodle so that I can finish off that look. And then we are getting a cute like light to go there. <laughs> this is my dad's makeshift light. Hi Ollie. Please ignore our bed. We just moved. I feel like this is the one time I'm allowed to be like, yes, my place is a mess and I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to tackle this shelf and then I think I might do the bags because that's actually easier. <sighs> Why is there another box that says master bedroom? I'm going to kill myself. So I put all my bags there and emptied out a freaking box. So I just have this box and whatever's in that box. And these are all empty, except for those. Those are our linen closet. And then I put the other one. So I put them both on the inside of the closet so that I can close all the clutter. I just have so much random stupid crap. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to drag that box into here. See what I can unload into here. Like jewelry-wise, I think I can do it all. And then maybe... I don't know what I'm going to do with my makeup. <sighs> um, but yeah, I have so many bags and I want to remember to take this pin off, but I don't want to take it off yet because then I'll forget But this is like a really special pin. <sighs> and then I have my other Louis there because I was like, I should probably use that one more and I just don't. But I'm so thirsty. I'm going to go downstairs and get my bubble tea. I am freaking pooped. Poopity pooped. I feel like something I really enjoy about this house is we all we painted it. And like each room is such a different vibe. Like green to blue slash purple to pink slash orange slash cream. And like you can really feel the vibe change like. I don't know if you heard that, but that was Ollie yawning. Like I was in the bedroom and it was just like a lot cooler and like, and now I'm in here and it's a lot brighter and I'm just like, wow. I was in like a white gray apartment all along, just like basically in a mental institution. And now I just love this color and I love how we painted it and got to choose the colors and like did it ourselves and everything. So yeah. Um, I'm just waiting for Jake to be done basically because I want to move everything up from the basement because I realize there's like a bunch of crap I want down there. All my like picture frames are down there and I do want to get to hang in because I love the decor. Um, and I have my games down there, my board games, which... I might end up putting in my study just because I do have a lot of extra space in there. And I feel like we should cherish or cherish, not cherish, um, savor. We should um, spare the space. I don't know. We should like save the space we have down here for stuff that we need. Ollie, stop. Y'all know how I was telling you it has allergies. Well. Also, this lamp has G2G. It was left here and Jake, for some reason, brought it up and I'm like, can you either throw it out or put it back in the basement? Um, but yeah, I'm scared to go in the basement by myself. <laughs> so I'm waiting for Jake. I just have like a fear because one time when I was little in my childhood basement, I went down there and there was a rat and that's like my biggest fear in life. And they said there wasn't anything. Like, they said we passed the test, but there was already a ginormous ant, which scared me. And they did say they put mouse traps because they saw mouse pellets, but not mice. But I'm like, that's a step away from mice. So I really just don't want to go down there because that's my literal worst fear. Like, I would have to move out. <laughs> um, I would literally, yeah, I don't know what I would do, but... Uh, yeah, I am going to, I just came down here and finished, like chugged my bubble tea, but all the boba's at the bottom. Um, what should I do? What was I going to do? 
I actually don't know. I think I just came down here for a drink. But I don't really remember. I guess I have to go back upstairs and go do that stuff. I'm just like dreading organizing all that because that was stuff I threw in a box last minute. And so it's like ultra messy and cluttery. And I just have so much crap I don't want, but I got to do it because it's like the last bit of stuff. So I got to find them. Okay. Jake's rings. He was like, I don't want to... I want them in the same spot, but I don't want them over there. Oh, shit. I gotta be more careful with my wax melts. That wax melter is not on, but the amount of wax I have cleaned off my stuff is crazy. So, oh, God. I'm not good at vlogging and walking down steps, clearly. Um gonna put his rings here because I was looking at this thing and I was like we need more things for this also one day we're going to get shelves oh my god fucking hate it here um one day we are going to get shelves so <laughs> we'll have to get even nicer looking decor but this is his oh one of his wedding rings is in there. This is his mystics ring. He was there for the year they won it. It says Brodsky on the side. And it has like the Washington DC skyline and then mystics and their um, record. And it says run it back because it was their second one. But I think the first one they won, he was working for the for the company, but not like for the Mystics. So we'll I'll leave this open. And then this is the ultra special one that everyone's like, can I try it on? His Capitals ring. He was he just started the year they went or the year they won. Um there's literally a light for it. I'm not taking this one out. But actually, I can't. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Hopefully nothing happens to it. Okay. Um, 2018. So that's when he started. This is like kind of old looking. Um, Washington, D.C. 2018. This one has way more diamonds. This would be like, I won't tell you guys because I don't want anyone to break into my house, actually. Brodsky. Kind of similar to the Mystics, but way more diamonds and jewels and glitz and glam and much nicer box. So. I need to clean this box off just because it looks kind of gross and dusty. But we'll display these in the dining room because sometimes you have those awkward moments with people that they come over for who knows why. This is a conversation starter. That's good enough. Pull out. Oh, you guys can't really see. There. Okay. I think that's good for now, but I do feel like we're missing like a bunch of boxes of kitchen stuff, if I'm being honest. Who knows? Who knows? Oh my gosh, guys. Either the heat or the back. My back is gonna kill me first. Not sure which. Um Anyway, I put all my shoes away and filled, the, filled those two white Ikea shoe racks in my closet in here. And then I'm going to put all my boots and stuff on my shoe rack in the um, 
bedroom and I'm gonna try and give Jake the other shoe rack. Hopefully I don't have too many more shoes. Not really sure. Um, but yeah, I think I'm like getting through a lot of it. So I basically have to switch the shoe box and switch the uh, bookshelf box, the master bedroom bookshelf box so I can switch stuff. But I'll probably have Jake do that because like I said, either the heat or my back is going to kill me. But yeah, it's looking really cute in here. Like I love this window, so I am, did I say it already? Probably, hopefully. Um, we are getting new windows, but just love this like extra built-in shelving and the parking lot and like the street is that way. So I can like look out, which I really like. That's why I want to be close to here just cause I'm just like a watcher. So yeah. <sighs> Jake is done gaming. I'm trying to get him to help me do stuff, but we'll see if that happens. Why are you so cute? Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so I asked Jake to bring in a box. Did he even bring it? Yeah, it's over there. That's my bookshelf box. And then he brought in another box of shoes. I'm going to kill myself because I just filled up those two white things. And I filled up a lot of the downstairs closet. <sighs> yeah, Ollie's just like staring at me. So he probably wants to go on a you know what. Also, doesn't this area look really cute? I have like my Cricut stuff, my printer, and my Cricut. This is my filming table I use. Um, This is my Cricut stuff, my washi my millennium falcon and then all my stuff for room yeah those are all my wax melts i just need to hang up some stuff in here because i'm gonna go crazy i'm so tired we are going to walk ollie in a few minutes i just filled out a whole intake packet for my session tomorrow but i'm gonna go down and get a drink because i'm really freaking tired and i'm just gonna get my work bag situated so much stuff. Okay. Yes. Jake's keys are in my work bag. Well, let's close that. What is this for? see what Jake is up to slash show him that I found his keys. 
We're about to take Ollie on a walk. And we just remembered it's trash day tomorrow. So, it's getting all the trash from upstairs. And we're gonna go take it all out to the corner. I got these from H Mart. We're literally less than a mile from an H Mart. Oh no, what it's doing. Um, so I got a bunch of these things, which are like my favorite. But I'm just so excited to be that close to an H Mart. <sighs> but yeah, we're gonna take out all of our trash. Oh, Jake brought up all my board games. We actually decided we're gonna do the board games here because our whole modular couch, which is six things. Hi guys, I just showered and let my hair dry. Um, Jake is still downstairs. We haven't really been doing anything. We walked Ollie, I don't know if I showed that, but we took him on a long walk. And I have this thing with watching reality shows all the time. And he was like, please, can we watch something scripted? So I chose The Heist on Netflix because my parents keep recommending it to us. But I got kind of bored. So I went and showered because I felt gross. But I'm going to go back downstairs and join him. Um, but yeah, it's pretty late. I actually want to go to bed, but I guess he's not tired yet. Good Monday morning. I'm so tired. I went to bed at like two or three, but I'm headed off to a client's house for work. Oh my God. My stuff is on here on the, oh my God. The stuff, my stuff is out here on the sidewalk because all of my stuff fell when we were unpacking yesterday. Anyways, I'm headed off to a client's house and I will talk to you guys after. Hi guys, I just finished work and I am so excited to go home and chill to do more work, but at least I can be home. And I'm really excited because the walk to my front door is so short now because I just live in this little like courtyard thing. Um, but it used to be so long in apartment life. So <sighs> life is good already at my front door and we have a package. Remember when I said I would wear makeup and look cuter today? Well, I dress nicely for work, of course, because I like, I don't know if you can hear that, but we're experiencing our first thunderstorm in the house, which is exciting. I love summer thunderstorms and they always happen in like August here. Um, I dress nice, obviously for work, but then I was like at work the whole time. So it's not like I vlogged any of that. And then, um, I just got changed cause I just have been sweating like crazy, moving everything and unpacking everything and packing everything and everything. So I just need to be in like clothes that I don't care about slash not care about my face. But hopefully tomorrow I will look better because I actually have to go in office. So I will probably because I see more people and stuff, I'll probably make a bit better impression. But today was just not it. But I also just like don't care about that stuff. So who cares? Anyways, I probably care more about how I look on the internet than I do like face to face in person. It's just like a persona, butch. That's a me thing. Anyways, um, Jake and I got lunch delivery. It was very, very good. And I did some work from home. I watched some of the newer episodes of Love Island USA, which was really good. And yeah, it is about like four o'clock. It's thunderstorming. It's normally Ollie's out time but it is thunderstorming i just let him what is he doing i just let him go he's all wet so i think he's trying to shake off the wetness i just let him explore outside like on our covered patio and he didn't really i i was like if you want to go potty out there you can but like i don't know if you want to um but he didn't really want to go past the cover so he's a little wet and i'm gonna have to take him later um but yeah jake gets off at five so at that point, we will get groceries and we'll do a lot more stuff. But while Jake finishes off his work day, I'm just going to unpack the rest of my shoes because I think I want to do that and then just save clothes for last. And 
tell me if you guys have moved lately because I feel like unpacking normal stuff like not that big of a deal but if you've moved lately what is the last thing that you put off to packing because mine is definitely my clothes and I don't I think it's just because I'm so overwhelmed because that's definitely what I have most of um but it's also like it's not fun like I don't get to decorate and stuff like I don't care about organizing my closet except for like my shoes but maybe it'll be more fun we'll see um but clothes is definitely the thing I have put off to the last I've also put off the linen closet but like we don't need any of that stuff right now so I'm not like really in a rush but I do need to start getting my clothes together because I am running out of shorts um so I have like lots of dresses and lots of t-shirts but no shorts so um I need to get my clothes situated so I can like wear clothes for the week that is not all the same thing but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle my shoes. I have a whole nother shoe box I have to do, which is just crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to wait for Jake to finish off his work day. And Ollie is literally staring out, watching the thunderstorm. That's what he did at our last apartment too, which is kind of funny. But this is the the blinds all downstairs since they're paper they're all closed so you can't like look out so i think when we have actual blinds in he will really appreciate being able to look out and like see things because we have really big windows that i know he'll love so yeah but i'm enjoying this thunderstorm um hopefully ollie's okay and doesn't need to go potty but we'll probably let this play out and then um once it finishes off we will go get groceries and do stuff like that So shoe shelf is complete and I left Jake my other one, which I know he'll appreciate because I took the other Ikea shoe racks, but I also just have so many shoes. And then I have like my hunters on the side and then I do have those white shelves in my closet in the study for places, for like things and each fits maybe like between four to six shoes. So I have a lot of shoes and I have shoes downstairs and I have the shoes that I actually wear every day, which are the same pair every single day, my Birkenstocks, but in the winter it's Uggs and in the summer it's Birks. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to take Ollie on a walk because it stopped raining and he is barking at me like crazy. Please tell me how I just found more shoes, including my wedding shoes here. I'm literally going to kill myself. Um, yeah. Anyways, we're going to go take Ollie on a walk because I can't deal with that right now. Walk time. I got him this new leash. This is my favorite brand. It's called Wolf Linen. Is that what it's called? Wolf Linen or Wolf Linen? But his rainbow one is also this brand and this one's light blue. And we're just like obsessed. It's really good. It's a heart, uh, lasso. I don't know what I was going to say, but it's a lasso leash. And we love it. Works for my 50 pound doggo. And I have these bags, which are really popular. I don't know the brand of this. This brand. The Tresca. But they have lots of cute stuff. And the bags are pink and flowery. But yeah. It's a good thing I used to hang out in the dog park in the pouring rain because it's really conditioned me well to tolerate the rain because it's literally actively raining on this walk. Oh my god. Dude, I'm gonna die. I'm going to kill myself. Like this. Ooh. Our kitchen is a mess, so I apologize because 
we're moving in still. But this was our first round of groceries. So got my Starbucks. We did go to the dollar store. And Jake was like, you'll love it in there. I've been there before. Not to that one, but like to one. But like I didn't vibe with most of this stuff because it is like kind of tacky. But this, are you kidding me? They had like ones that were this this way with the football that had like weird quotes on it like fall flannel football fall family football whatever which is not a vibe for me but these are so cute they were one dollar and 25 cents each so i got all the colors because that is just so cute and i think seasonal decor at least for me is something that like isn't a priority right now in my budget and life but it's something I like, love and want to do. So I'm just really excited to have these. I'm going to put them on our white thing out there. Then we got for our actual groceries, we got hot dogs, our favorite, our Hebrew national um, salami because I'm going to make pasta salad. These are my favorite. I love these things. This whole thing costs like over 10 bucks, but this is just so good. And it's such a big size um this is my favorite juice caribbean sunset jake got this at the dollar store too um i got this because i love making these easy meals so i got this to make with chicken so this is the home style roasted herb one and it's just like veggies and stuff i found these and i literally almost died because dole whip is my favorite thing ever i'm not expecting this to be like um animal kingdom or disney world dole whip but I'm really excited. I love Dole Whip. I got Cherry Dole Whip at the Outer Banks, and it was so good. Um, so I got strawberry and mango. These were kind of expensive, but, like, I don't care. I will pay for it. Also, they're expensive in Disney World, so whatever. Uh, we got two types of cheeses for our pasta Jake's going to make us. We're doing, like, easy dinners, obviously, because we just moved in. Um, this is Jake's Juice Coke. Chickpeas for my pasta salad. This is our favorite sauce. It's Maryland. It's a Maryland um, pizza brand. I doubt they have it anywhere, but if they do, let me know and try it. It's the best sauce ever. It's my favorite pizza ever. It's my favorite everything ever. Got this because they didn't have my flavor. Buns for the hot dogs. Meatballs for the pasta. Um, I guess Jake is cooking a steak. And then I got this. Sorry, there's like crap everywhere. I got this for that meal. Pizza for tonight. It's always peanut butter. And some cucumber and onion for my pasta salad. And um, this is for the pasta Jake's going to make. And this is for the pasta salad I'm going to make. Which I have never am able to find this. And I saw this and almost bought like five boxes. But I was like, I can't. But I'm really excited to have tricolor rotini for my pasta salad. Adi, what do you think of the haul? He's like, oh, yeah. And we got him treats, but I don't know where Jake put them. But he just enjoyed that. Okay. So we went to the grocery store and we went to pick up Starbucks and then we went to the dollar store because Jake told me I'd really like it and I did. I've been there before, but whatever. Um, there's one like right by us now and I'm just excited to get like affordable seasonal decor there because it's a vibe. Um, but yeah, so we're going to organize our clothes which is the task I keep saying we've been putting off. But uh, after that, then we really just have like the linen closet, which I'll do probably quickly one afternoon this week. And yeah, but the clothes is a lot. I have so many freaking clothes for every occasion. Like, I don't know what is wrong with me. But yeah, so we have to figure out also how we want to organize it because we have three ginormous walk-in closets um between us two and then we also have like our dresser and stuff so hopefully it will all fit but honestly who really knows because there's a lot going on i also would like to still declutter if it's a possibility just because i literally wear the same thing every single day so just like having all these extra clothes is not necessary and like 
most of the stuff that I'm decluttering is probably new or I've worn once. But at this point, I don't think I'm going to wear it. So what's the point in having it? But yeah, Ollie was a very good boy while we were gone. I was a little nervous, but I was watching him on our furbo and he was very, very good, surprisingly. Because I was like, there's so much more for him to get into now. So we're going to go do our clothes and I'll talk to you guys later. Hello guys, it is almost nine o'clock and I've gotten a lot of unpacking done. Um, I did a bunch of my like sweaters and jackets and flannels and stuff. I just have so <gasps> many clothes. It's literally crazy. And I'm decluttering about half of them right now after already decluttering about half of them before this. But I'm really trying to keep it small because also like one day we're going to hopefully have other people in this house like babies and kids so like i just don't want to fill up like the whole closet and everything if i don't need to like i want to keep the space open where we can in this house and like since i'm hanging everything already i'm like well if i'm not attached to this i'm getting rid of this so i struggled for a while getting rid of a lot of my stuff because a lot of my stuff is very nice quality like 50 50 some stuff is like from Shein, not gonna lie and then other stuff is like very nice quality but it's all mixed so like obviously some of the stuff i could sell for some money but i'm just so freaking lazy and that just seems like an extra step of the process that i don't feel like doing so my mom has um my mom is really really close to the people who clean our house are like cleaners um they've been cleaning our house for like my whole life they used to be like my sister's nanny so we like to help them out and so like I figure like they're the perfect people to give nice clothes to because they're in need of it and like they can always give it to someone because literally I put out some of my clothes like including some of my nice clothes mm, that's a lot I put out some of my crappier clothes and clothes that I didn't think would fit anyone because I got some big boobs and I have a lot of bras um, at the donation site outside of our apartment. Not site, like donation um, thing. It's like a metal thing outside. And Ollie, Jake walked Ollie the next day and my stuff was torn everywhere. My bras were everywhere. And like, obviously it didn't say my name on it or anything, but I was like, I felt violated. Like my bras out and like someone towering through my stuff so I don't really want to do that again could always do good well but like I said I really feel good about like helping the people who help clean my parents house for so long and like they did when I was there so I just love them so I figured might as well help them it works and honestly I'm probably gonna give a bunch of stuff to them because I just feel like they're really appreciative of it and I don't really have anyone else to give it to so yeah i'll show you guys my closet i still have so much but i am getting through it which is nice i think i can definitely finish by tomorrow or wednesday depending on how much work i do i really haven't been working a lot in august and i need to catch up on my hours so that's like gonna be a mission also this week towards the end of the week i'm ho like hoping to do that because right now i'm still unpacking and stuff but I also usually take it slow on Mondays because Mondays are like my new Friday. I personally prefer to take Mondays off than Fridays. Fridays, like, I don't know. Like, the traffic is terrible on Fridays here. So, like, that always sucks. But, like, I, I just always want my Mondays off. I have found. So, yeah, I don't really know. But. Jake is going to game. I don't know if I said that. So I kind of want to plan, to be honest. I want to plan my moving week. I will have to find my stuff and, like, figure out my whole setup because I haven't filmed here yet. But that might be something I might do. Um, He's cooking Ollie an egg because Ollie does this, like, just never eats anywhere unless we are in our apartment. And since we haven't been in our apartment, nor are we going back, does he not realize he hasn't really been eating. He eats his treats and stuff. Like, he's totally fine. He's just being dramatic. So, Jake is, like, cooking him food. 
<laughs> eggs. Um, but yeah, he, I've noticed the strength because he didn't eat when we went glamping um, the weekend of our anniversary, which I did vlog that. And then he didn't eat the whole week we were at the beach, which granted that week my parents were spoiling him. Like my mom was cooking him eggs every morning and I got them ice cream and like they were being spoiled. Mochi was there too. But Mochi ate. Ollie didn't eat. And like Ollie's bigger than her. So I kind of started to notice this trend. And so I was kind of expecting him to not eat for a little bit while we're here. But hopefully it's something we can figure out. I'm actually... Jake! Can you put his eggs with his food? He's eating the food? Okay. So we're tricking him and putting the eggs with the food so that he will eat that. I'll also probably make him some frozen treats tonight. Just because I feel like those are good for him to have. And this house is like really hot because like I said, the whole window situation. So yeah, it says it's 77 degrees in here right now, which is just too hot for me. But I will probably, I don't know. I kind of want to plan now if Jake's going to game. I'm like, I don't hit like being productive either. But he also hung my Squishmallow hammock, my first one, which I don't think I'm really going to hang them in every room like I did in my apartment. I don't know if you guys, how much you guys would have seen or known about that, but that was like a thing. Like we had one in every room in our apartment. I just don't feel like that's a vibe. Um, So I th I'm going to try and keep them to my study, but I have so many I want to display that I don't really know where to display them all. So I'm going to have to figure it out. I'm going to have to like put them throughout the house. Obviously we use some as pillows, but then I have like my favorites that I like to display. And I think I'm going to declutter a lot of those, but I am going to sell those because I don't know. I don't know why my thinking with selling nice squishmallows over selling nice clothes, but it's just a thing. I just... Squishmallows are like a collector's item and like the ones that I'm selling all have tags in them and st on them and stuff and they're like brand new. So I figure I might as well. Obviously, if it's a Squishmallow that we've been using for forever, like the clothes, well, I guess some of my clothes are brand new, but if it's a Squishmallow we've been using for forever, I'm just gonna trash it or donate it, but yeah, that's the little update. This is what happens when you ask your husband, at least mine, to do a task. I asked him to bring up the picture frames because we put them in the basement while we were moving. Because this was one of the first things we brought. And they're just all <laughs> over the kitchen. I literally cannot. I'm getting a drink and then going to go sit down and plan. Because I'm a tired girl. Look at all my drinks. <laughs> I'm so healthy. <laughs> so we have a little bit of a problem. <sighs> two of my street well, yeah, I have three lights, but two of them are missing their light bulbs. I don't know where they are, and they're kind of expensive light bulbs, I'm pretty sure, and we haven't found them because Jake would have given them to me, and I just asked him, and he didn't know where they were. So I'm gonna try and film the base with just one light, which it's fine it's just the base like it's gonna be four minutes of the whole video i was like should i just not film this plan with me but like i've been doing plan with me's consistently for as long as i freaking remember so not as long as i remember but it's been a while now and this is my moving day one so i have this kit from spc that i'm gonna use it doesn't look like my house if you can't tell <laughs> But these are the vibes. I'm excited because I thought I would need a lot of extenders this week. But all I did was pack. So I don't. So yeah, this is my sticker or my kit lineup, which you can see those videos. And then I did, I think it's in here. Yes, I got foil for this. So I'm going to pull it in. This is the massive part of my August haul that I filmed right before we moved like 
the day before or whatever. And I just kept it in here because I didn't move it with my other planner stuff and I want to remember it. Okay, so I have these underlays, which this vlog should go up before this plan with me if everything goes according to plan, but who knows? Those are so cute. Um, and then I have the pink hollow overlays. I have this, which gives me total vibes of our front um, porch, which I really like. Um, I just have to figure out which one is pink hollow. So this one's pink and then this one's lavender. I got the lavender hollow for another kit. And I think that's it. I think that's all I have for this spread. Oh no, glad I looked. I have these quotes, these custom quotes from Planet Hannah. So I'm excited about that. So that's like my little thing I got going on. I also have this um, sparkly pink hollow, which I may incorporate. We'll see how much I need, but I'm doing like a pink hollow, sparkly hollow, hollow goodness moment. So yeah, I'm gonna go film that and then I will show you guys the base. I think I'm going to take a food break because I still haven't eaten dinner and it's 10 o'clock and I have to wake up early tomorrow, which sucks. Um, and I have to drive into my office for work. I actually haven't even done the homework I have to do for that. I have to do, it's not like homework, but I have to do something for that. But maybe I'll just like do it on my phone and then like transfer it because it's just like an activity thing. We have to do so I can like transfer it to paper when I get there tomorrow um just because I'm so pooped but I think I'm gonna go cook um a frozen pizza that we got and I just realized I forgot the key ingredient for my pasta salad so I can't make it which is the Italian dressing <laughs> love that for me um yeah that's like the key ingredient besides the pasta and the salad you eat the dressings so i'm gonna go make myself a pizza because i'm hungry and i'm actually really really tired because i was like working and stuff today and I'm doing all the productive stuff so that looks like an amazing pizza if you ask me ollie's super antsy right now i organized where i wanted all those picture frames to go um I don't have very many in here oh shit I have all those too forgot to do those ones but these are all going upstairs which is a lot but I like heavily decorate my office I have this one in here um because it's gray but I think I'm gonna put this one in my office too just because it's kind of weird to have like your dead dog <laughs> in your dining room but this is how the hutch is coming i found these um this is jake's other wedding band i found sorry he is gaming up there i found um these golden doodle statues i was talking about put the picture frame there another golden doodle statue and yeah my mom's gonna build that for us the like lego orchid thing um we thought we would do it together but <laughs> It's just looking like too hard. So I'm gonna do some of these dishes and then eat my pizza. Started taking a turn for the night. Earlier, I was like fooling around with Oliver, and the soccer player in me thought it'd be funny to kick the big trash bag towards him because he likes like big effects and like he likes it. Okay, it wasn't like anything, but but there was a big 
crate, plastic crate, and I kicked that instead. And it was so painful. And then I was just like, whatever. And I kind of walked it off. And now I've been sitting here and it just gets more and more painful. And like, it hurts unless there's ice on it. It's going up my whole body. It, I've broken my leg. So I figured it's just a way less severe pain than that. I don't think I need to go to the doctor or anything. My sister's a physical therapist and told me what to do. So I'll maybe do it. But now I'm like, how the heck am I going to put my pre press my foot on the gas pedal slash walk to work tomorrow? So oh, I'm just stressed. But we watched, I watched Love Island USA, which they came back from Casa Amor, which was crazy. Honestly, it the first like pre Casa Amor was so dead, but I'm so hyped for post Casa Amor. And then we watched the most recent Big Brother episode, which was also really good. Um, I really like the cast they have this season, and I'm excited to see what happens. And Ollie is PTFO'd. Jake took him um, on a walk because I told Jake I wanted to walk him at 10.30 and he came down at 11.10 and I said, nope. But yeah, oh, I put away the board games, which I don't even think I showed you guys. So I have to show you guys that. And I want to show you guys my closet, but I'm hoping by the end of the vlog, I can do a little like tour because I was watching the earlier clips I filmed and I was doing like the this room still which I guess I still technically am doing this room. But hopefully by the end of the vlog, there will be like decor up a little, not like extravagantly, but some and more, my clothes will be put away and I'll be hopefully unpacked. Also, my sister said to tape my toes together and I was just saying how we didn't need anything from the linen closet. So that's really funny because that's where our medical stuff is. So guess I'll just sit here in pain but yeah we're gonna go to bed and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow hi guys it's already nine o'clock on Tuesday so today's gonna be very very short but basically I don't know if I told you guys but pretty much broke my toe last night and I was unable to walk or go to work today so I had to lay in bed all day with ice on it and took enough painkillers now and it was taped all day and iced that I'm able to do stuff but I'm just doing my closet. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this vlog is going downhill because of my broken toe. But I will show you guys my closet update. I will show you guys the board games update because I never showed you guys that. And yeah, I have to figure out what I want to put on this little corner thing still and i also think i want to mount our tv in the bedroom which will be behind us because we're mounting the one in our living room because then i have somewhere to put my makeup i'm a little stressed right now because i don't have anywhere to put my makeup i don't really have a lot of makeup so i don't need a big space but i need enough space to like sit and do my makeup so yeah but yeah um it's been a day it's been a day. My toe feels better though, which is good. It's just really, really purple and red. I won't show you guys because that's gross, but I'll show you guys my updated closet. So we have my tank tops, my short sleeves, my long sleeves, my jerseys, my dresses, which I'm missing so many dresses. Like it's going to take a lot more room. I don't know where they are. Um, that was my gown for my wedding. Like my pre like it's it's nothing but yeah um shoes and then I have a box of lingerie a box of swimsuits and then I have a box of tank tops a box of t-shirts and then I'm gonna put my shorts all here I'm gonna put my leggings and stuff all here which is all right here um and then I have all my sweatshirts because it's a lot and then like jean jackets and flannels and cardigans and stuff like that <sighs> I'm gonna go get a drink because I'm tired Treat Jack. Aww. How's your treat, Ollie? For the board games, look what we have here. We have half our games there. 
And then the games that I like, which I do like some of those games, but the games that I like more slash didn't really fit in there are in here. And they all fit in that little thingy. Making pasta salad. First time using a gas stove. Really excited. Jake got me these snacks because I realized I didn't get any snacks yesterday. So, let's see. I need pasta. I'm going to put these away. done we are trying all the angles in this new kitchen as i also simultaneously set it up but let me drain this pasta i have to find everything because my mother-in-law put everything away i'm gonna drain this pasta Ooh. All right, let us prepare all the ingredients. I'm going to drain the chickpeas, this and this. I suffered an injury while cutting, so Jake helped me cut, finish cutting. And I'm about to add my dressing and some seasonings. Why are you laughing? I thought you loved green fries. Pasta salad complete, thanks to the help of my hubby. <laughs> I literally cut my thumb so bad, I am still bleeding. But we are taking Ollie on a walk. Are you going on a walk, Ollie? Jake has his leash. So I was taking out the trash. Look at the New Jersey I got for Jake. Baltimore or who, who's on the back? Oh, I was like, did it come with like this all messed up? Who is that? The catcher? Why do you like the catcher? It's good. <laughs> Laundry time. What's up, lore heads? <laughs> lore heads. That's actually pretty funny. Um, hi guys. We are in line waiting for Sonic at eight o'clock. So yes, I haven't vlogged all day once again, but I slept and then <laughs> I worked from home and then we went in office with Ollie. Oh. I want to vlog that, but it's honestly too stressful because Jake was insisting he come in and I was stressed the whole time that there was like secret cameras I didn't know about and I'd get like in trouble for bringing my dog into the office. But hopefully, no one knows but we're waiting for sonic i'm so freaking hungry and i freaking love sonic jake wanted like burger king or arby's probably but he'll get sonic for me there's this is like the closest sonic probably to us now. this is because i don't want people to know where i work you tell them where you live all the no time. i don't that was on snapchat not on vlog oh. <laughs> like jesus Anyway, what are we doing tonight, babe? I kind of want to hang stuff. Let's hang some stuff, and then I still got to do my closet and whatnot. Yeah, you're hanging stuff. I'm watching Warrior on that. It's gonna be yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang stuff in my office, which I'm really excited about because my whole office is just very decorated. So yes. 
Uh, I'm really hungry. I'll talk to you guys when we have our food. Thanks so much. We are home and I'm just waiting in my study because Jake and I are going to hang some decor in my study. <sighs> yeah, I'm so freaking tired. Um, I still have so much to do. I have to fill up that squishmallow hammock and like clear out all my squishmallows because I don't need that many. Um, and I need to put away some of my clothes in here and figure out where the rest of my clothes are going to go because I haven't actually finished putting away all my clothes yet. But that is like the last thing. We also want to go back to the apartment this week. Ollie! We also want to go back to the apartment this week um, to get some more things and like finish cleaning up there because we kind of left it a mess and then we have some rover dogs this weekend thankfully because we really need the money our mortgage be expensive so yeah pretty much it but I don't really know how long I'm gonna vlog for I feel like I should just vlog for the whole week since like I haven't really vlogged yesterday or today and I'll probably vlog like I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but I'll probably vlog maybe Friday or other days, but I'm just like, whatever at this point, like I don't even care. And I also keep forgetting that I'm vlogging because I haven't vlogged in so long. So I'm sorry if this vlog sucks, but if you're watching this far, I love you so much. Hey y'all, this is how my office is. I decorated a lot. I put my ears here because so I was like, that's a cute use of space and I figured I'd use them as decor um have my bookshelf with basically like my jewelry my makeup used to be on here but I'm about to go put it in somewhere in my bedroom uh that's the closet this is obviously not here but I had to use it to get to those which I don't love that, but it's staying there for now. It was such a mission and I'm like scared of ladders. Um, but yeah, so eventually these like things will probably go in closets, these plastic drawers. But since I have the space out here for now, it's like whatever. Also, <laughs> I have my veil from my wedding that was so beautiful. And Ollie actually chewed holes all throughout it when he was puppy so like after my wedding so I'm just gonna use it as decor in here but I need help hanging it um and then this is what Jake helped me hang which is like my backdrop for my supervisions and so is like all this because I can tilt my camera accordingly um I didn't really do anything here I hung the rainbow there and I hung the heart thing there but yeah so now um I feel like I got a lot of that out and I did hang up, the light in here doesn't work, so I apologize, but I hung out, hung out my coats and my scarves. And these are all squishmallows that I do need to go through and decide uh, what I want. And then I have like everything else that's gonna live in there permanently. And that's all these toy baskets. But yeah, I am going to go attempt to go finish my bedroom now. So I ended up emptying this thing because I was hoping it fit at the bottom of this thing, but it wouldn't. So I just put it in the drawers. I kind of need to declutter it. I don't really have that much makeup because I've already done so much decluttering. But I figured I don't really care about these drawers because, like I said, I got it as junk. Um, like at the dumpster by my apartment. So, yeah. But that is that. And now I just have to finish my closet. Hello, guys. I still don't feel like doing the rest of my freaking closet. Um, but yeah, today I haven't really like sat down and talked to you guys, but um, I'm sorry for the lack of vlogging. I think I might just vlog for the whole week and see how much progress, sorry for the light, <laughs> see how much progress I make in the week. So till next Sunday, I guess. Um, but we'll see. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this. This is probably, like, going to be the worst, uh, like, filmed vlog ever. Like, I'll try and edit it well, but I feel like my filming isn't the best just because I've been so exhausted. And it's, like, it's, it's not the time of the month, but it's before the time of the month, which is arguably worse for me. Um, and also the gyno keeps calling me every day and I keep not calling them back, but I need to actually call them tomorrow because I feel like something is wrong because they keep calling me every day. So I'm going to get on that tomorrow and I'll update you guys, but, 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 but yeah, this is probably just like the most casually badly filmed vlog ever, but I just have so much going on between work and moving <laughs> it's just a lot i mean moving is just so much and all the other times i've moved i haven't had like a full-time job on top of it and it definitely takes a toll on you um so yeah i'm just exhausted honestly but i'm hanging in there i'm going to i'm charging up jake's laptop right now to hopefully start edit well i need to edit a plan with me and export that for next week so i can have that out of the way and then i'm going to start editing this vlog so i don't fall behind because usually i'm like editing after each day so i need to get on top of that um but yeah that is pretty much it um my Sonic for dinner was so mid, the like onion rings came like all like weirdly melted apart. So I think I'm gonna go downstairs and have some pasta salad and chill out with Jake cause I really don't feel like doing my closet right now, but I may come back up in like 30 minutes or so and tackle it then. <laughs> but I feel like I keep doing everything else other than that. So like eventually I'll just be forced to do that. But till then. Okay, we're going to Eat some pasta salad. What? Where is it? No, I didn't see it. get our other dishes from the apartment. I tried this pasta salad yesterday, like right after I made it with the warm pasta and the like warm mozzarella or whatever this type of cheese is that I got. And it was so gross. I was like, this is way better cold. grab one of these which they didn't have my normal flavor and i was sad but this is actually banger so oh god been chilling again today i've been taking it so easy this week because i've just been so busy unpacking and moving stuff but ollie's out here in the front yard with me and i'm just watching him roam around um but yeah that's basically my update he's going right now our little front yard um but yeah, I want to go get Starbucks, but Jake is still in like some meetings and stuff. So I'm just waiting for him to finish. Um, so I'm going to do some work and just hang out with him once I'm done out here. Um, but yeah, pretty much it.
just a slow day slow morning i think tomorrow i might be seeing the barbie movie again but this time with my mom which i'm really excited with because about because i just oh my god he's literally waiting at this person's gate entrance trying to get in ollie come stomping grounds i think i forgot to vlog but we went to dc to run an errand and the traffic was absolutely terrible so it took us a few hours to like get here it feels like i don't think actually but it feels like that um and so we did that and then we picked up starbucks got my drinkity drink and then um just taking ollie to the park But yeah, we're about to go upstairs to our apartment, which is probably a disaster since we left it on Saturday um, and get some more things. There's some things we need to pick up for sure. And then I just want to start like cleaning out the apartment and stuff now that it's all empty without the furniture. But I have not been back here since we moved out Saturday. Jake has a little bit. But yeah, I also really need to get my eyebrows done. So I wonder if I, cause I get my eyebrows done down here. So I wonder if I'll have time. I don't know what time it is cause I'm not wearing a watch, but I would like to get my eyebrows done. If not, I can probably find a place somewhere where I live now because there's like tons of stuff there, but I definitely need to get my eyebrows done. I don't even know why I've been vlogging without my eyebrows done. I'm so self-conscious now to be honest, but yeah. We are going to go head inside because he went potty and he's done, but he definitely missed his park. And yeah, I'll show you guys the apartment. It's an absolute mess. This is our empty apartment. It is so trashed. It's like giving me a freaking headache. Ollie is literally so happy here. Like he missed it so much and it's full of trash and it's unfurnished. Like, I, I don't know. He's just so happy here, but like literally look so gross everywhere. Ali, Ali, come. Hi. Ali. Did I show you guys his new tag? collar combo literally all these pieces are separate and they're all strawberry but everyone thinks he's a girl but i literally do not care do not care at all sorry call my dog a girl doesn't offend me oliver I got my eyebrows done the lady told me i had a lot of hair so <laughs> that was nice to hear <laughs> i was like i'm sorry i've been moving it's been a it's been a few weeks 
Um, I mean, obviously I haven't been very on top of things as I haven't vlogged since like May. So I also think that's like the last time I got my eyebrows done. So it was very much needed and I'm feeling like a whole new person. Um, maybe tomorrow or definitely Saturday I'll be wearing makeup. So look forward to me looking so spectacular then. But until then, I'm gonna look like crap. Um, so I went to Home Goods with Oliver and picked up a few things. Um, I went, so we went to the apartment and I got, we got some stuff from there. And then I went to get my eyebrows done really quickly because I was like, I'm just used to going to that place and I wasn't sure if they're open, but they're actually open till eight, which is great, but I'm probably never going back to them again because I'm moving out soon. Um, so I'm going to have to find a place here, but I was like, I need to get them done. Let's just do it here instead of looking for a place. So I went there and then Jake was like, Ollie really needs an antler. Um, cause we, for some reason can't find like any of his expensive antlers or bones that we bought him in the apartment so i went to tj maxx and i found a few that were pretty affordable because they're much more affordable at like home goods tj maxx marshall's i was i was at marshall's not tj maxx i think um but then the line was so freaking long and also the place that i just was at which was like walking distance to my apartment just opened an ikea it's not like a full service ikea because it's like in the middle of a city but it's like a pickup location which is really really cool so they're turning that whole area into a bunch of stuff but 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 i left and then i was like let's just go to home goods with ollie but jake didn't want to come he was like watching his video games um in the car so i was like okay just drop me off so me and Ollie went and we got some stuff at Home Goods. So I'm here to show you what we got at Home Goods. And then I am going to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I just made Jake help me clean up this living room because we have a Rover drop off tomorrow that we just found out like a few, like yesterday, but it's fine. It is fine. So first thing I got him was this mat. I've been looking for so many doggy bowl mats and they're actually quite expensive and this one was only six dollars and it's very big and jake was just telling me he doesn't like to eat or drink in the dining room where i have his mats right now so it looks like we're gonna use this mat out here to put his food and water because he doesn't like the other stuff i got him a slow feeder because he basically only eats out of slow feeders now a bunch of the dogs we watched and one of his favorite dogs we watched had a slow feeder and we were watching that dog consistently like every week for months so when we stopped getting him consistently ollie was like where's my slow feeder so um the other one that is usually at the store is the exact one that his friend has so i didn't want to get that one it's like blue and a different shape but this one was so cute it's like gray and swirly so i thought that was really cute um he also i don't know if i showed you guys he got a maryland terrapins football slow feeder it's in the back there i don't know if you guys can see it um but i'll show you guys it after but I'll probably keep this one in the dining room on his blue mat and the football one out here, I guess. Um, and then I got us some hand towels because I wanted some new ones for the bathroom. And I really love this like checkery fun pattern. Our bathrooms are kind of boring and bland. Like we didn't repaint them or do anything to them yet. So I figured this would be like a cute and easy way to spruce it up a little. So I got two of those. Um, and then I got... Ollie, so Ollie, and this is half of what he's chewing right now because it was broken, which is fine because now I have a second half to give him later. He's looking at me. He wants this one now. He's eating the other half, but this is what he chose at the store. Um, and it's actually quite solid. I just didn't want something that he could chew through right away. He doesn't have any teeth, so like, don't take my word for that if you have a dog who is a chewer. Um, but this is Himalayan dog chew and it says it's an original hard smoked cheese chew for dogs. So it's basically like cheese, like hard cheese, um, from like the Himalayan mountains, I guess. So I thought that was cool. And Jake is very, very particular with the bones I got. I literally came in and was like, yeah, I didn't get him an antler. He was like, let me see what you got. He does not like raw hides or like anything like that. Neither do I per se, but he's very strict about it because sometimes I'll cave and be like, one's okay. But Jake is very against all that stuff. So we have 
specific things we give Ollie and he approved of this. So excited about that. Um, we just only do like natural stuff just because they have really bad, ex a lot of dogs don't do well with raw hides and stuff like that. And Ollie especially has a sensitive tummy and he's our angel baby. So we got to protect him. And then um, I got this, which we saw last time and Ollie just is never really enthusiastic about it, which is why I got him this instead. But I was like, we'll have this as backup um, because he's like a baby. He needs backup reinforcers. Um, but this was only $10 for this antler. I don't know. He never, like, whenever I show him it, he never really wants it. But I'm sure one day if it's, like, random and, like, a brand new thing, he'll be into it. But that was pretty much it. All dog stuff and then just the hand towels for us. That's life. Um, but I'm going to set up his new little, like, food and water corner. And I will show you guys that. Okay, so Ollie literally took his bone here, which he never lays on his bed which is just so cute. <laughs> so this is his little corner for now. I mean, obviously we're still doing stuff as the wall plate isn't even in, but yeah, look at this really cute slow feeder. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I'm obsessed with this. I found it on Amazon. It's a lot smaller than I thought, but it's like a slow feeder size. So honestly kind of want to pick up more. It's just so cute, but yeah, that's that. Ollie's enjoying his Himalayan bone. Logging up this bed and bone for this dog so that I can clean my room up here and he's not all alone. Come here. He's obsessed with this, by the way, the Himalayan thingy. Jake is gaming, so I apologize if you can hear him. The door's open. Um, I just ordered dinner. I ordered poke from this new place because we moved. And a lot of what we used to get was DC and like Arlington, Northern Virginia, which you probably don't even know the geography of Northern Virginia unless you live here. But now, I'm like further from DC, so I don't have as many DC options, but I have like a lot of suburb Virginia options. And where we particularly are, there's so much Asian food. Every time I order food, like 95% of the options are Asian. And then um, the add-ons are all bubble tea, all like bakery, really good stuff so i'm just like so excited so i always get bubble tea as my add-on and i'm just like trying to hack my favorite bubble tea from my favorite place because there's so i've never had so many options before so yeah that's been fun but i got poke and bubble tea and now i'm going to finish doing my closet because i'm so sick of not doing it but i am missing like a bunch of clothes I feel like not a bunch but like a bag or two maybe so I just gotta finish off see what I have and then um I'm gonna see what I have to do with my study but yeah Jake is gaming so I'm just gonna do my clothes still he has probably a tenth amount of clothes as I have I think most people probably have a 20th of the amount of clothes and accessories and stuff I have like I don't have a lot of makeup you guys saw that but bags shoes clothes hair accessories like earrings jewelry oh um yeah it's a lot so we're just unpacking a lot here I literally y'all had like so many bags of clothes for moving like it would have been impossible to move on our own just because of my clothes and that should be like the easy part but I'm a shopper I really like clothes and I really like to buy stuff so this is my this is what I get <music>
so I am feeling re-energized. I had really, really good poke from this new, new place I tried and my boba tea was really good too. I haven't been like finishing my boba lately when I get it, but this one I did finish. Um, and I watched an episode of Love Island. I watched the post Casa Amor episode, <laughs> which was just so crazy. And let me say, I'm on, I think episode 26. So like take this for granted, depending on when you're watching this, um, or take it for with a grain of salt, I guess. But Cassie's glow up has been the best so far because she was so annoying to me at the beginning. And now, like, given the circumstances, I'm just like, wow, wowie, wow. But I pretty much finished my closet. I'm like somehow missing definitely a bag of clothes. I actually have one more bag of clothes in there that I need to go through. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll be pretty much done with my closet, which is exciting. And then I'm just going to finish off my study. I have um, some clothes that I'm decluttering, some clothes that I'm giving to my mom, and some clothes that I'm putting in my study and just not in this closet because I don't have that much room. It just took him like five minutes to get the courage to jump up here. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. And Jake is doing D&D &D tonight, so that's why he's MIA, but I'm going to bother him to help me hang stuff when he is done, so we'll do that. I must admit, I have come so far. It's Wednesday, I think. I don't even know what day it is. No, I think it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday because Jake's playing D&D. &D. So... Tank tops, shirts, long sleeves, jerseys, dresses, and then all my leggings. And then I have my shoes down there. Some stuff up here, which this is all, like, obviously still being organized. Cardigans, flannels, jean jackets. All the sweaters. Jake works for, like, every single sports team in the DMV, so I just got a lot. And then I'm still missing a bunch of my shorts. So I got to figure that out, but I'm, um, maybe they're all on the wash. They honestly could be because it's summer. So who knows? But yeah, like, who am I? Also, I feel like I could fit something there. Either, I don't think I need a mirror because I have that one, but I don't know. Let me know your guys' ideas because I feel like something would fit there and then like a cute rug eventually, not anytime soon, but yeah. Hello guys, I am about to export my plan with me for next week, which is this Just Beachy spread. It's actually hopefully going to go up when, around when this vlog goes up, if I get to editing this vlog any day now. <laughs> watch you guys watch this vlog in like December or never, but that's what that is. It's kind of a mess over here. I still got to organize my um, my office a little. But I'm going to export this. Here with me, 731.23. And this is my first time exporting. I luckily did a talk through, which I'm very glad I did because I that was just very much easier in the long run. Um, but now that I moved, I'm definitely going back to voiceovers. But I'm glad I did a talk through for that spread because I just had to do a intro voiceover and then I was done. Um, but yeah, now it's exporting. It's over an hour long. So hope y'all enjoy that. Um, but, 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 but I want to organize the rest of this. Look at all this junk here. I got to organize it all. So that's what I'm going to do now since I finished my closet. Um, and then last thing I'm going to do is like sell my squishmallows and all that stuff. But for now, they're living in that closet. Um, and yeah, I'm exporting my little video. And I really, 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 really want to film my plan with me for my moving week. Like I'm in the mood and everything. But I'm missing light bulbs and I only have one functioning light and 
I did my base with just one functioning light, but I really don't think I should for my day by day. So I really need Jake's help to figure out where my missing light bulbs are <sighs> because I want to film my plan with me so I don't fall behind, but we'll see. Luckily, my videos are ahead, so if I fall behind a few weeks, I fall behind a few weeks, but hopefully that doesn't happen. It is almost 2 a.m., and I just caught up with Love Island USA. It ended on the red wedding. Is that what they called it? An episode where they're all wearing red, that elimination. And I swear to God... I want Keenan to go home harder more than Leo right now, but honestly, they both need to go. I'm so over the men on this show. <laughs> like, it's just crazy. But, <sighs> I think I'm going to go bother Jake because he finally is done with D&D &D now that it's 2 a.m., and I want to look at the Sims packs because he's the one who got me Sims on his computer because I don't have a PC. Um, I want to look at the Sims expansion packs because I've been obsessed with watching Sims, like people building Sims houses, people making Sims, like everything Sims lately on YouTube. That's all I've been watching. And now I really want to get good at it. But Jake was like, yeah, I looked at the packs before and they were like 20 to $60 each, which I was like, really? Because he got me Sims for free on whatever thing he has. I mean, Guy has a lot of gaming codes and discounts and whatnot just because of his profession and his links and everything, like his, um, not links, his acquaintances, his connections his connections with people he just is in the world of gaming so he has very much in um he's always like first on every game he had like a ps5 from the very beginning and do we use it no i don't even know where it is it's not even in the new house so anyways i think i'm gonna go bother him to do that and then I'll probably go to bed for the night. Tomorrow we have a rover pickup at 11 or drop off at 11 a.m. We're watching a dog over the weekend. And then we're watching another dog that's coming Saturday. Um, and then I'm hopefully seeing the Barbie movie with my mom. And I'm not sure what else we're doing yet. But I would like to hang up some more decor and kind of figure out that situation. Now that my closet is done and my study is pretty much done. But yeah, that is a pretty much it. Oh, I'm so tired. Good afternoon. It is Friday and I'm headed to the Barbie movie with my mom, which I'm so excited about because I've been wanting to see it with her for forever. But because of my move, it's been put off. I already saw it with Jake, like, the day it came out. But I'm excited to see it with my mom. Because since I saw the movie, I'm like, this is something I definitely have to see with my mom. And I just love Barbie so much. And I know she's going to love the movie. It's just a very her movie. So I'm excited. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm going to go drive to go meet her at the theater. And yeah.
Okay guys, I've had quite a series of events happen, but basically went to the Barbie movie with my mom. She enjoyed it. It was a great old time. We got Starbucks after and like hung out a little, just chatted, caught up. I'm seeing her tomorrow because we're going to the Ali Wong show, which everyone thinks it's hilarious that I'm going with my parents, but they bought me the tickets because I asked for them and my mom like loves going to the Kennedy Center. So I was just like, whatever, I'll go with them. I didn't think my dad was going to come, but that's fine. Um, And then I drove home and I met Jake, Ollie, and Nova. The dog we're watching. She's right there. She's really sweet. Um, And like, so there was like a bunch of people like in front of our house. There's like, it's not. So there's like parking lot and then. Like, there's a little walkway, and it's kind of like a courtyard. I don't really know how else to explain, explain it, but there's, like, green grass and everything. And there's no, like, cars, and that's, like, the part we live on. And Ollie was, like, freaking out, barking at this little kid, and the little kid was very confused. And then, like, there was just a bunch of things that happened. And then we take the dogs, and we start walking, and I get a call from our security, which we use Simply Safe. Highly recommend after today. And they're like, you have a burglar. And I'm like, what? And Jake, like, had also gotten a notification. So he went back to the house with Nova. And the security guy was like, what's your safe word? Or something like that. I don't know what they called it. I was like, I don't freaking know it. And then I ended up asking Jake later what our safe word is. And he made it. And he doesn't know it either. So that's something we need to figure out. But when we're not in crisis, but he like came back in the house and like closed the doors. And so I come back here. I was holding Ollie. Jake was holding Nova and Nova's like a big lab and she's very strong and stuff. So I was like, hopefully he's fine. But he came back in here and the doors were closed. Like everything looked normal. So I was like, I'm not going in there. So I was just waiting outside. And then I finally called Jake and he's like, oh yeah, I was looking for someone. No one's in here. I was like, what the hell? Why don't we just check our video camera because we have a camera on our door and I checked our video camera and no one came in at all so <laughs> so so then it like kept going off and so we like we went back out to walk them after that because we were like okay we're fine and it kept going off again so they kept thinking there's a burglar and then we ended up just leaving and locking our front door and like leaving it and then we went to, we decided to take the dogs to the park. So we're now taking that, we now have to drive to the dog park that's closest. It's like about 10 minutes away. It's not too bad. Um, but we took them there and they really, really liked it. But yeah, so we went there and we turned on our alarm and it was fine. And then we came back home. Like we were there for a while and then we came back home. And I've just been chilling here watching 90 Day Fiance, just like minding my own business. And then I get a doorbell ring, which is weird. And I look at the camera and it's police and I'm like oh god <laughs> and I like open the door and they're like is everything okay and then they like ask for my ID and they're like does your ID have the uh, this house address like because I live here and I'm like no I just moved in on Saturday but hopefully I called Jake because I'm like freaking out because my my ID doesn't have this address yet because we just moved in and like we're not officially moved in or anything and I called Jake and he was like, they should be able to look it up and you should be fine. We should be fine. But I was just like, okay. So that was that. And then I was looking at the camera before they came because like I didn't know they were here. So like they were like outside. I can see what they were doing before they rang the doorbell. And they were like looking all around the house, like making sure nothing was broken into. <laughs> so this is a test that Simply Safe works. It's live monitoring, um, but also we need to figure out how to not make our alarm go off randomly because, or we need to find out our cheat word because now our neighbors probably think we're crazy because police have already shown up. And yeah, that was just like quite a thing, quite a thing. But I think my food is at the door. I ordered the same exact thing as yesterday, except I got different bubble tea. I got Kung Fu tea instead of, I think yesterday I got tea do. So yeah, Jake ran an errand to go to our apartment to pick up some stuff. <laughs> and I'm watching 90 Day. What's this? Oh. Ollie, say hi. Hi. 
But yeah, they had a really fun time at the new park, which was amazing. And there's my food. to go and my parents always get tickets for the Kennedy Center so I was like I might as well ask them then I don't have to pay and they were like yeah well they yeah they just watch beef I don't know if they've actually watched any of their stand-up or her stand-up I should say but it should be interesting um my mom wanted to go with just me and her and I wanted to go with like Jake because we love Ali Wong and it's like raunchy and stuff and I didn't really want to go with a parent so then when I said I want to bring Jake my mom was like okay we'll bring dad so now it's like a four people affair and it's gonna be interesting I think out of everyone my dad is gonna be most offended because he is like the most um <laughs> is it is it inappropriate to say French on the boat? Um, he's for, or is he first gen or am I first gen? He's technically not first gen, right? I don't know how that works. Yeah. So he's like an immigrant. And so I feel like this is just not his cup of tea, but they enjoy beef. So we'll see. So yeah, we got all dolled up and hopefully we can take some cute pics because i was just in a rush out i don't know if i reported what happened last night but like we were doing all this cute decor in my study and i literally said oh my god this hippo painting is my favorite it's not a painting it's like a graphic and then it shattered and broke on the floor and i got gla glass was everywhere I have like little cuts everywhere and there's still a piece of glass in my foot my parents told me to go to urgent care yesterday and I didn't and then I just didn't do anything about it today and now that I'm wearing these Prada shoes it really really hurts and my parents are gonna yell at me so we may be taking a trip to urgent care after this or I may be because the dogs are gonna go crazy if they have to be alone any longer honestly so yeah I'll just go tomorrow <laughs> anyway we're on the way. The show is until 8, but it's 5.20, so we're meeting them early and hopefully getting food. Meeting them so early, it's not yeah. so early. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it's like being a in-law to my parents. And we're also way further from D.C. now, so it's going to be a little bit of a drive. I mean, we're not way further. We're like 20 minutes further. Yeah, they're gonna, we're gonna do some, some fun little stuff. So we might as well, free dinner, free drinks, whatever. Bye!
happy Sunday slash this is going to be my last um day of vlogging it's already night because I've been terrible at vlogging I literally was like to Jake should I just nix this nix it is that the word nix I don't know anyway yeah yeah that's what I meant okay anyway Oh, I should show you guys the mirror, my dad and Jake hung. So anyway, today is Sunday. I am so sorry. I've been so bad at vlogging. It's just been like, one, I've been terrible at it because I haven't vlogged in so long uh, because I didn't want to vlog in our ugly ass apartment anymore because it was just like too much. And whenever I vlogged, it was just like chaos in the background. And that's just not a thing a vibe for me so I was happy to vlog in the new house and show like all the progress so I will do a little end clip of all the progress we made because I feel like I did make quite a bit of progress since last Sunday I mean I pretty much unpacked everything except I still for some reason have put off the linen closet which is a thing but um Jake and my dad hung up this mirror today that we got as a wedding gift so excited about that and yeah there's just oh i added a little entry doormat um and i'm getting like we're just doing like little stuff at a time obviously because it's a house we'll be in for a while but today we had a rubber pickup ozzy got picked up i don't even know if i showed you guys ozzy which is sad because i don't even think i talked about it yesterday so backtrack more yesterday we went to Ali Wong I know I vlogged like the dinner and stuff but we did see Ali Wong she was incredible kind of awkward to see it with like your immigrant and first gen parents Ollie stop licking your paws please um but luckily they sat through it my mom today at dinner when my brother was like what do you think she was like I understood 90% of the jokes which was kind of funny <laughs> but um she was really funny. Her opener was really funny and it was just like a good time. It was at the Kennedy Center. We haven't been there in a while. Um, and we went during golden hours. So we got some really epic pics. And then, yeah, last night, I don't even know what I did. It's all a blur. I think I've been playing a lot of Sims 4. Trying to, trying to get good at that, but I have only base game. So I'm, it's, I don't have very many options. Um, and then today we had a rover pickup. Ozzy got picked up and my parents came over and my dad spent an hour and a half trying to fix the doorknob in my door because we're like changing all the doorknobs in our house just because it's like an aesthetic thing for me. Um, they don't all match and a lot of them are gold and I don't like gold. So I'm trying to change it to, um, I think we got brush nickel is what it's called or something. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. But um, he did that and we went out to this bougie Vietnamese restaurant in Falls Church. It was so amazing. So this is where my little food review is going to come in of this part of the vlog because it's absolutely amazing. I think I'm actually going to make a TikTok on it too. But first we had, so Jake had this bougie drink. What was it called? He had like this banana pudding type drink. It was a rum drink. It was a rum drink. And it came in this like thing that looks like the Beauty and the Beast rose in Disney World. And I don't know if that's in Disney World, but in Disney movies. And it was all fancy. Anyways, then we got this salad, which was like their only vegetable there. I didn't try it because it looked very acidic and I don't like pickled stuff. So that we're not going to rate. Jake had some. What would you rate it, babe? Like a two out of five. Okay. Then we had what was, I will go ahead and tell you my favorite dish. It was, I wish I had the menu. It was this like crab. Babe, can you pull up the menu on your phone? and that was probably my favorite dish it was so good and then we had this like risotto with dofu 
Um, and it was very curry-like, which I don't really enjoy. By the way, the crab dish I'd rate a five out of five. The risotto dish, I don't really like curry, and like Jake didn't think it was that special either, so I'd rate it like a two out of five, three out of five, and then we had um a braised beef and what was the noodle called? Parpadelli. Parpadel. Perpadelli, I don't know, but it was really, really good. So that one I'd rate like a four out of five. And then we had steak with garlic rice, which garlic rice is like my favorite thing ever. And I'll go back to the garlic rice for a story time later. But that steak was cooked so, so good. That was like 4.5 out of five. And then we had this fish with lettuce wraps and vermicelli and like sauce and we got a whole fish and it was traumatic for me because I got a fish bone stuck in my throat and it hurt so bad I don't know if you've ever had a fish bone stuck in your throat but they told us it was deboned and then my whole piece had so many bones and like I had no choice but to swallow some of them so then I had to swallow garlic rice whole and I actually, I got it down with the varmicelli noodles, but I already got the garlic rice. So that was a win-win because I love the garlic rice. We also got a seafood tower, which was very underwhelming. Like it was good. The lobster was good. The shrimp was good. I'm not a big oyster person. I didn't try the mussels. How were the mussels made? Uh, they were fine. They usually sauce Jake really liked the yuzu sauce. It was... The yuzu sauce was good. It was very like strong, but it was good. Um, love the lobster. Love me a good lobster moment. What else was there? I don't even know. Octopus. The octopus was so good. Um, I like octopus, but Jake and my sister-in-law are not big octopus people. And they were like, yeah, that was good. So that was really, it's really good. Like that. Yeah, it was cooked amazingly. Did we eat anything else? And then we had dessert. So we got sago. I don't even know what it was like, but it was like tapioca and it was tropical flavored. That was amazing. So good. It is so hard to cleanse my palate the way I want my palate cleansed after a meal like that. And that was amazing. And then they also got this yucca. It was like French toast yucca. It was so good with ube ice cream which I'm not a big on ube flavor. I hope I'm pronouncing this all good, yeah. all right. But yeah, Jake said the ube ice cream was good. So the desserts were also really good. Jake got a little um, Vietnamese coffee in the cutest milk carton thing, milk glass carton container ever. And how was your coffee? Uh, it was fine. Hopefully, it'll keep him awake. And, yeah. I also had a Shirley Temple. That was great. But, yeah, dinner was freaking phenomenal. Like, oh, my God. When you eat a meal like that, it's just great. It's just great. I'm very happy. I've never had, like, food like that at all. Like, I've had Vietnamese food, but had, like, nothing elegant, like that. Like yeah, that. not elegant. Yeah. Exactly. Like we've definitely had that in China in Chinese food and we've had a kind of in Thai food. I'd say we've done it in Thai food. Yeah. We've definitely done it in Japanese food too. Have we? Like the omakase oh, at yeah, Cranes. But like this was so good with the Vietnamese twist. And yeah, so it was called No Idea. I will do you know what it's yeah. called? New Elegant Vietnamese in elegant Falls Church. Vietnamese. New Elegantly Vietnamese in Falls Church. It was very, very good. Oliver, say hi. I think we're going to do a little change in collar for Ollie. He's been called a girl a lot, which is totally fine. Like, I do not give a flying F, but I'm just feeling the vibes change now that school starts in our county tomorrow, so... And then soon, Ollie. Oh, wait, no. I think we should do the football one. I think we're going to do the football one because our draft is tomorrow. So I think we're going to do the football one, Ollie. Yeah, it's decided.